Auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder is a less common type of sensory neural hearing loss and occurs when sound is not transmitted properly from the inner ear to the brain. Let's take a closer look at auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder in this video. About 10% of children with sensory neural hearing loss have auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, or ANSD. ANSD differs from more common types of sensory neural hearing loss. For some children, the outer and middle parts of the ear work in the usual way, but there is a problem with the inner ear or auditory nerve. This is called sensory neural hearing loss. Most of the time, sensory neural hearing loss occurs when the hair cells in the cochlea are not working as they should. There are two types of these cells, outer hair cells and inner hair cells. When functioning properly, the outer hair cells make soft sounds louder inside the cochlea, and the inner hair cells convert movement of the fluid in the cochlea into electrical signals. These are then passed on to the auditory nerve, which sends this information to the brain. The brain then interprets this as sound. When hair cells are damaged or missing, sound is not transmitted properly to the auditory nerve. This results in the most common form of sensory neural hearing loss. With auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, the outer hair cells in the cochlea may work well, but a problem occurs after this point in the hearing pathway. In some cases, there is a problem with the inner hair cells or a poor connection between them and the auditory nerve. In other cases, the auditory nerve itself is affected. In all cases, the pattern or timing of the electrical signals in the nerve is disrupted. The degree of this distortion is very different from child to child and can range from mild to severe. To give you an idea of what speech might sound like if your child has auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, we have prepared a hearing loss simulation. You will hear a sentence repeated four times. The first sentence is an example of how severely distorted speech may sound. The next two examples are of moderately and mildly distorted speech. The last sentence is an example of how speech may sound for a child with typical hearing. Note that these simulations are for demonstration purposes only. Your audiologist can talk to you about your child's hearing levels. It's cold outside. Can you please bring me your socks? It's cold outside. Can you please bring me your socks? It's cold outside. Can you please bring me your socks? If your child has auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, it is important to become involved with early services to support communication and language. Regardless of the degree of hearing loss or challenges your child faces, Know that your healthcare team will support your decisions by helping you get the information you need.